Wherever you find deer, hedgehogs or sheep, especially where there is bracken, you are likely to find ticks. Ixodes ricinus is the commonest of three tick species found in the United Kingdom. It is an eight-legged arthropod, closely related to spiders, mites and scorpions. It is a partial parasite, needing only three short blood feeds throughout its whole life cycle, which can take an incredible six years to complete, and nearly all of its existence is actually spent in the grass. Down in the soil, ticks lay eggs. Thousands of them. They form the very foundation of the food chain. Many are lost to microscopic predators. Those that hatch produce larvae. This six-legged baby tick, or tickle, is only a millimetre or so in size. It is blind. It reads its world through tiny sensors on its front legs. It needs a blood feed to grow and will find a vantage point where it can attach to a passing small mammal or bird. Thus replete, a process taking only a few days, it will fall back to the soil to molt into its next stage. The nymph sometimes called a ticket or a ticket. Now a miniature eight-legged version of adulthood to come. It too needs a short blood feed to progress. Meet the adult tick, the final stage. This is the magnificent beast that causes such consternation that can be seen feeding on your pet dog or cat. But before you pull it off, consider these jaws. Double rows of backward facing teeth like a collection of fish hooks. Pull and they will break off. And look at that blood filled body. This tick may carry bacteria, Lyme disease, viruses, squeeze the body and that infected stew will be forced back into your pet's bloodstream. Male and female adult ticks mate on the host. But that's quite enough of that. After mating, the male will die. While the female after ingesting her last feed, will fall to the ground to lay her thousands of eggs. Then she too will die.